let's start looking at the positioning of the code for this. And there's actually two ways of setting up your functions within your C++ code. And to be honest with you, there's going to be more as we start getting to objects and other things down the road with classes. So you really need to check with your instructor on which version of this that you really should be using. So just a heads up. There's, as you can, I try to color code it so that you can see a lot of things are very, very similar. There's only really one thing that's different between the two. So in version one, the long and drawn out version, and this is the one I prefer only because eventually we'll be getting into objects and classes, something I already talked about. So what you're going to have is, is you're gonna have a prototype. And what does a prototype look like? Well, actually I want you to look at the main first. Main's no different than what you've seen before, so, that, that, so let's just get beyond that. And here are your eventual functions. Now again, you could have one function, three functions, whatever. The positioning is actually very important. As you know in C++, we have to declare the variable before we can use it. That's kind of actually what a prototype is really doing. Notice it's exactly the same thing. There's print menu with a semicolon at the end of it. Oh, and there's print menu, there it is here. And notice, by the way, the order didn't exactly matter. Now that's, that's, well, it looks like that on this sheet, and that's not exactly true, but still, what I'd rather it have is that you had the same order between these two. So when you probably look at the notes, I'm probably gonna switch these two just to make sure that it's consistent with the order that you had here. But that is declaring your function ahead of time so when you call it a main, main goes, oh, I know they're gonna be using a function, and it must be further defined down below. Now, talking about definition, in version number two, notice there's no prototypes at all. In version two, I am spelling out the functions. I am, there's no prototypes because I'm literally spelling it all out. So when main finally gets to temporary swap or print menu, it really knows that, hey, okay, it's already been defined because it was defined and created before I got here. And that sounds like a C++ thing, right? So there is two versions of how you can set things up. Again, similarities between the two. The only This one has prototypes, this one doesn't. Again, check with your instructor on how they want you to set this up. But other than that, that's your overall setup for everything. I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, main, yep, I think that's about it for now. You know, I wanted to add one more item to that. Your global variables that you've probably used or seen before, before we got to this, are still also going to be in the same place. Notice the includes at the very top, they're both same. Your, your global variables are going to be towards the top, so nothing's really changed about that part, but at least wanted to kind of double check with you on that.